When a phenomenon occurs in one place or once, it is possible to speculate about its origin. And when we misinterpret it, we have the argument that it only happened once. But when the phenomenon is repeated dozens of times during the history of, of unidentified flying object sightings and it is still unexplained, there are two possibilities, the first is that no one has actually reached an explanation for the phenomenon throughout these years, the second is that they have already explained it, but they hide this explanation from the public. For amazing red lighting UFOs over Rotterdam, Netherlands 2021. On March 11, 2021, four amazing UFOs in the form of luminous red balls were sighted in the sky of Rotterdam, a major port city in the Dutch province of South Holland, Netherlands. The sighting begins with two bright red UFOs constantly flashing at a low altitude near the roof of a house, slowly flying towards the middle of the street. Then they are followed by a third UFO, which suddenly splits into two UFOs, one small and the other is large. Then the small splinter object suddenly, turns to the same size in a scene that is difficult to explain, based on all the mysterious phenomena that have been explained before. Then all four UFOs move towards the other side of the street in an amazing scene. Eyewitnesses say that the first unidentified flying object, was originally a single object that appeared in the sky from nothing. It initially appeared small in size, and then suddenly increased in size to reach the size shown in the footage. This was behind the house. Then this unidentified flying object initially split into two flying objects, one of them small and the other is large, then the second turned into the same size as the first, as happened with the third object shown in the footage. When the unidentified flying objects crossed the street, some eyewitnesses followed them, wondering where they would go, but they rose in the sky a little and then gradually disappeared as they appeared for the first time, leaving the eyewitnesses in a state of astonishment wondering what this should be. In fact, this was not the first time that such UFOs appeared in 2021. There are many UFO sightings, similar of these UFOs in different places around the world this year 2021. On June 4, 2021 in Seoul, South Korea, an unidentified flying object illuminated in red appeared standing still in the sky and constantly flashing with red lights. This time the unidentified flying object is flying at a low altitude also near the roof of a building, but this time it is flying in a very sensitive place as it is flying near the border area between North Korea and South Korea, which is a military area. It is one of the most secure areas, which means, the possibility that it is an unidentified flying object flying over a military area is illogical, as it must be attacked immediately by the military forces present in the place. Although that, it was not attacked and no activity of military aircraft or anti-missiles was observed. In the area and here we stop for a bit. This means that such an unidentified flying object is known to the military force on the border, otherwise it will be attacked, and this did not happen. Here, there are two possibilities, the first is that there is available information about the origin of this unidentified flying object in relation to the military force present in the place, and this possibility is illogical, because such a phenomenon that has not been explained, throughout these years. The information about it must be extremely confidential, and should not be disclosed to a large number of people, even if they were military, to keep it secret. Here comes the second possibility that there are only a very small number of people who know the origin of this unidentified flying object and they are the ones who issued orders to the military district not to attack it. Here, such personalities who carry such information must be high-ranking personalities, their number should be very few, and they should have the ability to conceal the secret. This also means that such a phenomenon is mysterious to the public only, but for these people, they know very well the origin of this phenomenon. What confirms this is that, some governments are well aware of the origin of this phenomenon, is the cessation of public projects to study unidentified flying objects, after the Blue Book project, although there are those who confirm that official projects to study UFOs have never stopped, and are still continuing until now, but in complete secrecy. What also confirms this, is that there are thousands of sightings of the phenomenon of unidentified flying objects every year around the world, 
and no military force for any country around the world has ever thought of confronting it. On the contrary, in the past, there were many attempts to address such a mysterious phenomenon by pilots around the world, and all these issues disappeared completely. Which means that there are orders not to confront such unidentified flying objects by pilots, in almost all countries of the world, we have never heard in the modern era of a confrontation between pilots and unidentified flying objects that was announced, except for the famous leaked videos, which the Pentagon confirmed its authenticity. There are many interpretations and speculations about the origin of the unidentified flying object that appeared in Seoul, South Korea. One of the explanations was that, it was an ordinary star in the sky. Do stars appear in daylight? Indeed, by zooming in on the image using cameras on some stars at night, they feel that, they are not a stable mass of light, that flashes constantly and gives the effect of optical plasma, and each of them has its own unique shape. We know this well, but stars do not appear in daylight to the naked eye, or even to the most advanced cameras. Going back to the unidentified flying objects that appeared on March 11th in the skies of Rotterdam, Netherlands, were many viewers who believed that it was a fabricated footage. We have done several video tests using some computer applications frame by frame and the results are that, the footage is difficult to fake. There have been other explanations for the UFOs in the skies of Rotterdam, Netherlands, where some have interpreted them as just Chinese lanterns shining in red or pink. This explanation was also completely illogical, as the shape and size of the UFOs are not commensurate with being mere Chinese lanterns, and Chinese lanterns do not appear suddenly in the sky and are not lit up in the air, as they are lit first and then are released into the air. Chinese lanterns cannot split in the air and then suddenly disappear. It's just some kind of fireworks. We have never seen fireworks appear in the same way that UFOs appeared in the sky of Rotterdam, Netherlands. It is possible to split lights in the case of fireworks, but we have never seen fireworks move through the air in the same way that these UFOs move in the sky of Rotterdam, Netherlands, where most fireworks rise in the sky in a vertical direction, and we have never seen them fly in a horizontal direction at a slow and steady speed, like those unidentified flying objects, and fireworks do not spend much time before they disappear in the sky. As for the most logical explanation, which we mentioned before, the such luminous balls act as data carriers whose source may be from planet Earth, and their source may be from outside the planet. It collects and transmits data, such as optical fibers, and this interpretation was reached by most researchers in UFOs, but the only dispute was about its origin. Is it a technology from planet Earth or from outside the planet, as some of them did not reject the hypothesis that it is a secret technology whose origin is from a planet Earth, although many of them were skeptical about this opinion, but it is still an opinion up for discussion. The question remains for everyone. Why did no responsible party provide an explanation for this phenomenon around the world, 